Hey everybody, I am David, and um, if you probably didn't hear the news by now, uh, it's been reported that Carrie Fisher has passed away um, at the age of 60. And uh, I thought I wanted to do my own little video on it, like everyone else is probably going to be doing. Uh, because Carrie Fisher, you know, Princess Leia from Star Wars, most Star Wars fans will know her uh, from that. And uh, probably people like myself will only know her <laughs> from that. Even though she's done other things too, like uh, guest appearances or cameos in films as well. Uh, she will always be remembered as Princess Leia. And it's pretty tragic. What's, it's very tragic what's happened to her. Uh, where, you know, she got a heart attack, a massive heart attack uh, a couple days ago. And... Uh, uh, Apparently she was in stable condition, but it wasn't really confirmed whether or not she she was all right. She was how she was holding up, and uh, it looks like um, it was hard on her this massive heart attack, and it took her life unfortunately. So I would like to send my prayers and uh, wishes to her family and friends um, on behalf of many Star Wars fans that are out there today it's 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 um you know there's going to be some fans wondering how is this going to affect Star Wars episode 8 or 9 or whatever um that shouldn't really matter but it is going to cross a lot of people's minds you can't doubt that whatever happens happens the writers producers let them figure that out that's not for the fans to worry about when the movie comes out, we'll handle it. But I believe episode 8 was finished filming anyways. So she will be in that movie. It, at the end of the day, it all depends on how, where her character arc goes in in the new uh, trilogy, right? Maybe she doesn't play that much of an important part. Remember, she was only in there very briefly in The Force Awakens, which the poster I just realized now is right behind me. I didn't do that purposely. So, yeah, I mean, it's it, that's an issue that the writers and producers are going to have to figure out on what to do with that character. Uh, whether they just leave her out of episode 9 due to the respect, because I'm, I'm going to guess her scenes in episode 8 are done. Uh, or replace her, which I think is the wrong move. I think they should either just not mention her at all. Again, it all depends on how uh, episode 8 plays with her character. But you can easily just focus the films on Luke. Um, so, there you go. Uh, other than that, you know, um, some of my favorite, I guess, non-Princess Leia moments uh, in, in her career were obviously uh, some of her... her uh, cameos and guest appearances in things. Uh, the one that I always remember the most because I was a huge fan of Smallville. So when I found out that Carrie Fisher was guest starring on that episode, on an episode back in season five, uh, she guest starred uh, on the episode Thirst, which was the beginning of season five. Somewhere, I think it was like episode four or three of episode five, somewhere in the early episodes of that season. And, um, they had her uh, play the first boss of the Daily Planet, and she had some scenes with uh, Allison Mack, who played Chloe. Uh, it was great seeing her on that show. Uh, one of my favorite cameos, though, from her, from what I can remember right now, I know she cameoed in a lot of things, uh, was Austin Powers, the original Austin Powers, where she played a therapist uh, helping uh, Dr. Evil and his son, whose name is escaping me right now, played by Seth Green, um, Scott Evil, uh, where she was playing a therapist, trying to help them both cope uh, with being a father and a son, which was one of my favorite scenes in the movie of Austin Powers. The Doctor, Doctor Evil and, and Scott always had some great play, and seeing her in that, that scene, I think she had some funny lines too, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, Carrie Fisher, she's gonna be missed, and... Um, Pay respect to her families because uh, it's always sad when someone leaves our lives. Okay, guys, so 
I'm going to end this here and uh, take care. Leave your well wishes in the comment section below uh, to Carrie Fisher and her family. And um, yeah, take care.